Hey everyone, today I'm going to be attempting to take a Schlieren image of a Tesla coil. The way that Schlieren imaging works is by taking advantage of the fact that when light goes through something of different densities, it bends the light a different amount. And we already know this because if you've ever viewed air on a hot day that's getting heated up, you'll notice that the background gets wiggly. The reason that's happening is because the light that should have reached your eye gets bent a little bit and hits a different part of your eye because it went through a different temperature of air that bent it a little more than it would have normally. Now in order to power my experiment today, I want to thank the sponsor for this video, EcoFlow. So let's go ahead and start the experiment and I'll tell you a little bit more about the EcoFlow power station later on. What we're going to do is we're going to take a parabolic mirror a certain distance away from an LED light. So I have my light back here, my parabolic mirror here, and if I hold up this board you can see this circle of light on it. So what I want to do is I want to walk and move back with it, and it's going to get smaller and brighter. And about right here is where it gets its smallest. So here's my focal point of the parabolic mirror. You can see I just have an image of this LED light on my finger here. So I want to move this so the razor blade is blocking half of that. So you can see half of the light is on here and half is on my finger now. Then you just bring the camera behind it. I'm going to try to find the light in the mirror now. There it is. And I'm going to focus on the mirror back there. Get about right here. So you can see the razor blade isn't in focus, and it doesn't look like the razor blade's blocking half of it, but it actually is. You're still seeing a full image of the, of the mirror down there. Then I'm just gonna dim it down so the light's not so bright. About like that. So I just changed my frame rate so the light isn't so bright there. I'm gonna light a candle. Change the frame rate, look at that. So that's completely laminar flow coming off of the candle. You can see if I mess it up a little. And then by changing how much of the light I'm blocking with the razor blade, it changes the image like this. So this is letting more light through, this is letting less. So it kind of changes the contrast of it. You can even just see the warmth coming off my hand. Now the reason you can see the warm air now is because the air is a different density at that spot. So the light bends a little when it goes through it. Now it only bends a little bit, but it's enough so that the light that got bent now hits the razor blade in a different spot. Remember that when the light falls more on the razor blade, the mirror appears darker. And when it's less on the razor blade, the mirror's brighter. So by changing slightly where the light lands on the razor blade, it changes the brightness by a lot. So you can see tiny changes in density. And it doesn't have to just be hot things that you can see. You can also see cold things. You can see this difluoroethane being sprayed. And you can even visualize shock waves due to the density changes in the shock wave as well. Look how cool the lighter looks lighting in slow motion. Now let's try the Tesla coil. So when the Tesla coil sparks, it creates a plasma. And this plasma is thousands of degrees hot, so it instantly heats up the air and changes the refractive index. Now normally when you see the Tesla coil spark, the sparks happen in an instant and then they're gone. But with the Schlieren image, you can see the spark happen and then the gases kind of fade away and rise up in the air. So this is cool because it gives you an appreciation for how hot the gases are around the plasma. Each spark looks like a mini explosion that happens. Before we end, I'd like to thank EcoFlow for sponsoring this video. I powered everything on this whole experiment, my lights, cameras, equipment with the EcoFlow power station. 
So EcoFlow power stations are the world's fastest charging electric generators on the market. You can plug them into any standard AC power source or you can even charge them really fast with a solar panel as well. They also have a very high output. You can plug in many high power devices at the same time with no problem. And if you need even more power, you can turn on the X Boost. Also, it even comes with the EcoFlow app, so you can monitor charge levels, usage data, and more. So this EcoFlow device is really cool. I've had electric generators before, and this is by far my favorite. It can put out so much power at one time, and also it charges extremely fast. Look at that, over a thousand watts charging right now. Has a little fan that kicks on to keep it cool as well. I have electric generators and gas power generators, and the electric generators are by far my favorite. One of the main reasons I like the EcoFlow generator is because it's a power station that you can use inside, unlike a gas generator that you can only use outside because of the output of the fumes. Also, another one of my favorite things, listen to this. You hear nothing, as opposed to a gas generator which is deafening. And also, you don't have to rely on any fuel for it. So even though you can charge it in your home when you have power, if you don't ever have power, you can still keep it charged with the solar panel. The Delta Max is a smaller alternative to the Pro, but still much larger and powerful than the original Delta. And it's designed to back up your entire home so you'll be set for any blackouts that come your way. Also, you can expand the capacity by linking up two extra batteries with a full 6,048 watt hours. You'll have enough power for your whole family. So if you want to check out EcoFlow, click the link in my description. And thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you liked it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet, or hit the bell so you can be notified when I release my latest video. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.